All right, Jonathan Falconer. Woo! Here's a tip for you. It doesn't matter how much time's gone by, if you start taking requests, I give you the light. That's how that works. Oh, crap. Especially right after Mitch just said that it was going to be his opening move. <laughs> you stole his first two suggestions. Those are the cream of the crop suggestions. I was going to get some bull crap. Like grass, you can't tell jokes about grass. Hamburgers are easy to make fun of, bro. Ground beef, it's funny. You ready, Mitch? Yeah. All right, on deck. On deck, we have Jay Whitaker. We're coming to the stage now. Please welcome. Oh wait, she's taking his money as we speak. <laughs> I know, right? Pay before you go on stage in case you leave quickly in tears afterwards. <laughs> All right. It won't be. It'll be great. I like Mitch a lot. I think, are you taping yourself right there? That's well, not really yet. All right, so he's going to be taping. So laugh. I've got the laugh really loud. <laughs> throughout all of his jokes, like during the setups and everything. <laughs> Make it ruin this recording. <laughs> all right, now please welcome to the stage the very funny Mitch Nelson, everyone. Fixing the mic in the school. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I just thought of that. Well, the T Rex stuff I always do. So, uh, uh, I guess I do have a choice now that I have to. I'm going to give you a choice. Do you want to hear a stupid Facebook joke? Kind of long, decent story. It's pretty funny, dirty. Or do you want to hear my usual uh, stuff? Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> All right, so this girl and this guy are up in the room, and they're really going at it, just having a great time. And uh, all of a sudden, they hear a door slam outside, and she's like, oh, crap, it's my husband. Have you guys heard this one? Nope. Oh, good, all right. <laughs> I like it a lot. Where was I? Oh, they're going at it. Husband comes home in the car. And uh, yeah, uh, she's like, "Quick, hide!" And she goes, and he goes, "Where?" And she's like, "Ah, oh, crap!" He's like, "I'll go hide in the closet." And she's like, "No." He goes and gets undressed for his thing when he comes home from work. He's like, "Uh, I don't know, I don't know." And she's like, "Oh, oh, oh! I got it, I got it, I got it!" She goes, "Make a pose like a statue." And he was like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah, just trust me." And she, so he was like holding his pose like a statue. It was it wasn't a cool statue like mine. But uh, he, he makes a pose, and uh, she goes and gets talcum powder and spreads it all over his naked body. And uh, her husband comes home and looks at the guy and is like, what is that? And she goes, oh, it's a new statue. The Smiths had one, and I really liked it. So I got one today. And uh, he goes, oh, well, does it have to stay in the bedroom? Because that's kind of creepy. And she's like, no, I was just moving it. And uh, you know, I was just trying, to, trying it in all the different rooms to see what would work. And uh, he goes, well, I'm going to go take a shower. You can, can you move it by yourself? And she's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. So uh, she moves it. And so he goes into the room, uh, into the living room. And uh, she's like, just stay like this. It won't be long. And pretty soon we can get rid of him. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll get you out of the house somehow. And he goes, OK, well, in the middle of the night, uh, the guy's standing, you know, just kind of relaxed. But then the his light comes on. and down the hall and he's like, oh crap. So he gets back up into his pose and sure enough, it's the husband. The husband comes in, goes into the kitchen and starts digging around, making a sandwich and grabs a beer and comes back out and stands in front of the statue and goes, hey man, you want a sandwich and a beer? And the guy goes, huh? How do you know I was a guy? You know how, I mean, what? Why aren't you even mad? And he goes, uh, I was over at the Smiths for three days before I, and I nearly starved to death. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Long story, but it was fun, right? <laughs> See you later. That's what open mic is. Give it up for Mitch, everyone! <laughs> <laughs>